This is not just an investment show. This is not a slideware deck that you come in with your 12 slides. You have to prove your product in the harshest of conditions in which it was built for. And we're not gonna take it easy on the entrepreneur and we're certainly not gonna take it easy on the product. At 19, I became an Olympian and a world champion skier. At 23, I became the first athlete to have ever been skied in the Olympics and get drafted into the National Football League. And at 28, I started my first tech company. And six years later, we've generated over $150 million of revenue. If you've already won that market and you've only done $60,000 of revenue this year, the market's even smaller than I thought. By far, the single hardest thing about being a CEO and founder is managing your own psychology. You come into work you know, in the morning feeling like the company's gonna take over the world. And then inevitably a series of things will happen and right around noon, you'll say, gosh, I, I wonder if I can make payroll. You know, and those are the types of emotional swings that every startup entrepreneur experiences. But in order to cross the chasm, you have to win the, that early majority, which is about 23%. It's a much harder audience to win. How are you gonna win over that audience? I'm looking for that entrepreneur who's gonna bring a level of innovation to the outdoor space that nobody's brought before. I love the outdoors. I grew up in the outdoors as a skier. It's a huge passion of mine, and I wanna find that entrepreneur who's going to make it even more enjoyable to go explore. Well, congrats, guys. I always love to see when founders dream of something, and they go build it, and it works really well. This is one big adventure. I mean, we're going all over the United States to some of the coolest places that the outdoor space has to offer. And we're meeting a bunch of entrepreneurs, some that are working on really incredible, innovative things, and some I question, and I wanna learn more because I look at their products and I wonder what they're thinking and what they're working on. With all due respect, I think you have been using that entrepreneurial energy and working on a product that doesn't have a market. I wanna test the entrepreneur to the limit. I mean, the hardest thing to do as a CEO is to manage your own psychology. I want to test it. I want to ask direct questions. I want to try to get under their skin. I want to see how they react in those environments, not to be a jerk, but because I want to see how they react. Investment is one big adventure. There's death-defying obstacles everywhere, and you have to overcome them and be willing to take the risk to find that next product that is going to be disruptive and innovative to the outdoor space. I find myself struggling with one part of your business and it's hard for me to get past that. So I want some perspective from you. We're gonna get the product in, in, in the wilderness and in the environment. We're, we're, we're not gonna take it easy on them. We're gonna try to break the product. <laughs> we're, we're gonna test it to the limits. Even if it's an early version, even if it's a beta, we don't care. No investors get this type of access and opportunity. And that's one of the most exciting things about the show. Adventure Capitalist, series premiere August 22nd, CNBC. Get yours.